So what's going on YouTube Action Figure Network coming at you with another video. So as promised I won't be doing a uh, Marvel Legends Iron Man review today but I will be doing a, a review on the Captain America Winter Soldier Wave. This one being the AIM Soldier which is the running change for the Baron Zemo which I got in my previous video. But yeah guys as I said I would be doing this um, today instead of um, uh, an Iron Man Legends review. I kind of had to think about what I was going to say there for a second. But just a quick look at the back and front of the packaging, or the front and back. We can see that it does have the Build-A-Figure collection right there. We do have a warning, choking hazard, small parts, ages 4 and up. It says Marvel Legends Captain America. We get a nice uh, packaging where it has a window so we can see the figure and the accessories. Just looks really nice. And then we can see here it says Marvel Legends Infinite Series Soldiers of Aim. And then we have the Hasbro sticker right there. But yeah, really nice. So now that we've looked at the front, let's look on the sides. Now for the sides, it's just a little sketch of Captain America uh, throwing his shield, which looks really nice. It's just a blue sketch, and then we have the bottom, which is black right there. But really nice. I like it. And we can also see that it does show the window. And then basically, if we just turn this to the side, it is basically just the same thing as the other side, and him throwing his shield, and then we have the black bottom. So now that we've looked at the sides, let's look on the back. So onto the back we can see that right here it says Marvel Legends Infinite Series. So that's really, really cool. We can see right here it says Captain America, Marvel Captain America. And then we have here we have like a little brief bio on the Soldiers of Aim and it says the brilliant minds behind Aim ruthlessly bend the laws of nature in pursuit of ultimate power. We can see the regular figure. Uh, which is the Baron Zemo, and then we just get a look at him, and then he has his running change, which is the AIM Soldier. Then it also says, build a figure collection Mandroid, um, which I will not be building, but that is the Mandroid. And then we have the Captain America, the other two. I want to get another Hydra Soldier because I traded him. <clears throat> I mean, what? But yeah, I did trade him, unfortunately. Shouldn't have done it, but... Um, Oh, we can see that it has Red Skull, which is a horrible figure. I also traded him, and I didn't mind trading him. And then we have the other three figures, which are the uh, movie Black Widow, movie Captain America, and then movie Winter Soldier. We just have this, and we have Marvel, www.marvel.com, and then Hasbro, which you can find these figures on. Maybe not this figure, but you can find some of Captain America. So now that we've looked at the packaging, let's just get into the review. So a little warning for my next video, I will not be doing an Iron Man review, I just thought about this, but I am not going to be doing an Iron Man review uh, tomorrow, I will be continuing that Monday, so just be um, looking out for that video. But yeah, so I, I kind of just thought about it and I was like, yeah, you know, I think I'll just do that um, on Monday, you know, just take a little break, but yeah, so... As I said, let's just get into the review, so let's have a size comparison now. So here is our size comparison. We can see that the AIM Soldier is a little bit taller than the Baron Zemo. It definitely looks different on camera than it does off camera. Um, on camera, they're almost about the same height, but off camera, it looks like he goes to about right here. So that just is um, on camera, as I said, but uh, yeah. I don't know if the AIM soldiers are supposed to be taller than Baron Zemo, but if they are, then that's good. If they aren't, well, then it's still good, because this figure is awesome. <laughs> but yeah, you'll find out how more awesome he is uh, when we continue on with this review. But I just wanted to give you guys a size comparison. Baron Zemo is just the regular figure to where the AIM soldier is the variant. And we can see, though, that the AIM Soldier is uh, just a little bit taller, which is good. But, yeah, now that I've showed you a size comparison of both the uh, Soldiers of AIM figures, let's just get into the review. And, well, we're already in the review, but let's go on to the accessories that he comes with. Now, for accessories, the AIM Soldier does come with two weapons, um, them both being a pistol and a rifle. But let's just get into it. So he does come with this really nice pistol. We can see that the yellow or gold on it is not a AIM Soldier like costume yellow. It is more of a gold. We can see though that it does have the nice sculpting in it. 
we can also see that it has some blue on it which really looks nice it makes it stand out compared to being just a dull accessory we can though see on the uh, the other side that it's the same except without the sculpting just the color scheme and we can also see that it does have the black grip which is really nice um, now these both the weapons do fit in both of his hands it, he does have trigger fingers with a kind of like open hand so that's really nice so yeah now that I've showed you this one, let's get on to the other accessory. So it comes with this awesome, awesome rifle. This, this is more of a two-handed weapon, but I usually just pose them with this, you know, kind of like holding it downwards. We can see that it's basically just the same with the black grip, and then the, uh, this one only has one, um, like, trigger finger holder kind of thing, while this one has no one right here. But it still works very nice. Because as, as I said, it is his both of his hands are kind of meant to be held for like each weapon, but um, he does have the open hand, so it won't really affect how that looks. Then we get on, and we can see it has the really nice sculpting, and it also has the blue on it, so that's really nice. And then I really like how it says aim. Now that is really cool. I do like how that looks. And these are not a pliable material, so you won't be able to flex them around too much. But yeah, really nice accessories. So now that we've gone over accessories, let's go into the detail of this figure. Now this figure has really nice detail in it, so let's just get into it. We can see it kind of looks like he has that beehive uh, like helmet thing. I think that's the AIM Soldier signature in my opinion. Uh, that and the color scheme for the costumes but we can see that it does have the nice um, yellow to it and we can see that it does have the uh, silver like mask type thing where we can see that I think that's to where they look at us, they you know where they see at us because I'm just guessing I don't know a lot about the characters but or the aim soldiers but yeah we can see that you can see it looks like his in his nose is right there uh, now we can see it though that it kind of does have like the uh, folding or like where it looks like it's kind of creased in some parts. So that looks really nice. Going down we can see though that he does have the black collar and then he has the strap which has grenades or gas. And then he just has pouches. We can see though that it does have the button shirt area and then it has a belt. And then it does have more creases, more creases and then it has these black boots with straps on them which look really cool. We get to the arms where we can see it just is yellow and it even has the yellow gloves, but really nice. In the belt, it does have the uh, yellow sculpting into it with the bla black and yellow paint applications, so that's really nice. Just giving you another look at the thing. So now that we've gone over the front, let's get into the back for detail. Now for the back, it's basically the same thing. We do have the creasing in the uh, mask or helmet. It does have the black collar, more pouches, and then we get to there where it has the gas, more creasing, that, you know, black and yellow belt. Um, except when we get to the, uh, what would you say, gloves area where we can see that it does have the buttons, and I think they're nice. They're, it's a yellow, uh, not a yellow, but a silver paint application. Then we go down, we have more creasing, and then we get to the boots where we can see it has the straps and really nice, just really nice detailing overall. Um, yeah, so now that we've looked over the detailing for the front and back, let's get into paint application portion of this video. Now for paint applications, I kind of touched on that in detailing, but I'll just get into it really, really quickly. I'm not going to do a back because it's basically the same for the front and back. We can see that it's just a yellow. It does have silver on the visor part of the uh, mask or helmet. That's basically the only thing that's on the front that's different. Now we, get, we have the black and yellow silver gas canister parts or grenade to the top. And then we just have the silver, I mean the yellow and black. Yellow, black, and then we have black boots, yellow gloves or cuffs or whatever you like to call them. Just some more yellow and black and black and yellow and <laughs> I'm just saying stuff now but basically that's about it for paint applications it's just three colors um, I wish there was shading some like orangish red shading but that's okay because this is still a good figure 
Um, paint applications are really nice. I don't have any problems with my figure where they're smudging or where it was really bad in some places. Basically just here, but that's not bad at all. I don't even know, that probably might just be part of the costume as well. But now that we've gone over paint applications, let's get into the articulation part of this review. Now this figure has pretty good articulation, but let's just get into it. So he is able to go left, right, full 360 if you like him to. He can go down just a little bit. He goes up just a little bit. His shoulders do go up like this, but you have to rotate them and then just push them in so he can go like this. They do go forward and back and it, if you can hear it's clicky so that's really nice. Does have the bicep tricep swivel, does bend at two points at the elbow, one, two. Now I didn't like that there was no uh, rotation at the glove but that's okay. There is a full 360 uh, movement in the wrist and it also goes down and up. Just going to put his shoulder back in like that. Does have the clicky out crunch which allows him to go like that and up like that does have a full 360 waist articulation you just kinda have to push it you know keep rotating it but it won't it is kinda hindered but at the same time it's not because you can still go full 360 his legs do spread out like that they do go forward and backwards not backwards as much forward does have the upper quad swivel does bend at two points at the knee one two and again um, no boot articulation I might have said boot articulation here, I'm not sure, but no glove articulation, but no boot cut right here, but that's okay. It does go down and up at the ankle, and then it does go, and it has the beautiful ankle pivot. <laughs> but yeah, so we've basically gone over everything with this figure, a size comparison, detail, um, articulation, and paint applications, and his accessories, and yada yada yada. So now that I've gone over all of this stuff, let's just get into the overall review of this figure. The AIM Soldier, the variant for Baron Zemo. It's a must have for any collector or army builder, um, even a Marvel Legends collector, even if you like AIM soldiers in comic books or you like AIM and you don't even collect action figures, you need to pick this figure up. This figure is loaded with articulation, loaded with detail, nice paint applications, great accessories, just an overall great figure. He works well in scale with the MODOK and Baron Zemo and it's just a great overall figure. I'm definitely going to ask you and tell you to pick this figure up. I don't even care if you don't have money. Pick him up. No, but I'm just kidding, guys. Awesome figure. If you can find him, pick him up. Um, you know, um, maybe, uh, see, I'm kind of contemplated on getting the rest of the Captain America series. But at the same time, I want to get the Guardian Galaxy Wave. Uh, but And the Spider-Man uh, Spider variants. But... Other than that, pick this figure up. I'm going to give this figure uh, blank and blank. You'll find that in the description box below. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Um, you know, if you feel generous enough to like and subscribe my videos or to my channel even, then please do that. Uh, your support is very much needed for the growth of my YouTube channel. And just again, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I don't know if I'm really missing anything other than uh, be checking out for my Iron Horn Club. With classic horn Iron Man figure, yeah, that review coming Monday. Um, comment in the comment box below if you would rather see me pick up the Guardians of the Galaxy Marvel Legends wave or just finish this wave up and this, get the Spider Man variants. So yeah, guys, thanks again for watching. This is Action Figure Network signing out. Until next time.